everyone. Hey yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of The Exaggeration Show with your boy, your host, with the most, I hope, Tom Singh. Yo guys, thanks again to everyone that watches the show. We're on episode 7 now, and uh, that's when I really start to realize how fast this year is going. Because um, seven episodes already in which means we must be in november right now because that's just how months are flying by to me you know every day is the same shit you're reading on social media it's the same stuff to do with the coronavirus the case is going up bad news here the world health organizations are a bunch of scamming um you, you know you guys know the who the who and now they're starting to take things back and starting to change some things and a lot of people are getting pretty upset about it because they're like guys what are you doing you know um so yeah it's been a crazy week here in new zealand our cases have started to start to go up which is like yippee <laughs> no of course not a lot of people are freaking out they're like holy shit my life just started getting back together um i started seeing my friends i started you know building the business back up and then cases start going up which people are saying is this the second wave you know so um but in america uh, it's still going wee with uh, around 200 people dying a day it's terrible and obviously a lot of the people that are breaking quarantine isn't really helping and you have a lunatic as the president. So let's not forget about that one. Um, so yeah, always keep an eye on the numbers, guys, because this is a thing that is going to be one of the biggest things in our lives in this generation, you know, especially as someone that's 27. This is the biggest thing that's ever happened, you know, uh, for us. Um, in the week as well, there has been the Trump rally. So again, round number two for DJT, Donald J. Trump. He's trying to make a second term of presidency. What do you guys think? Do you think uh, the orange buffoon will become president again? If I had to put my money on it, just because, look, look, who, who else is going to take over? You got, um, as they call him, Bablin Biden. <laughs> joe biden oh my god i remember seeing a clip where i was like did someone edit this nah so the joke about joe biden is that he's just got a fucking terrible memory his brain doesn't really work because he's old ass things older than trump and there's a, there's an actual video where he's sitting there talking to people it's like live on tv during quarantine he's uh mm, listening to the woman talking mm, mm, yeah and uh, uh i i and that's what we need to do that's the video and i was like okay what the fuck that was just 15 seconds of absolutely nothing coming out of his mouth replay uh -huh. yeah uh, this is live tv by the way uh, and and that's what we need to do and the fuck thing is is that his brain heard what he said but he didn't say anything so at the end he was like yeah and that's what we he was like really excited he said, and that's what we need to do like his light bulb moment he's told to the public but everyone else is sitting there just listening to him being like uh, yeah it's so fuck to watch and it's like you're president ladies and gentlemen he's like staring at the bird he's like Oh me! That's what it'll be like when he if he wins, you know. So you've got him or Trump. Yeah, don't know what's gonna happen there. Um, and then the other thing about it is that Trump is like the biggest roaster on earth. If you go against Donald Trump, oh, well, you better watch out. There's this thing where I don't know if I said it in one of the other podcasts where you go Donald Trump um his proper website and you go Donald com forward slash something random and hit enter. It'll come up with it like error 404 page not found. And it's the picture of Joe Biden that said, looks like you're lost like me. But it's so funny the way he asked his IT guy to code that image in. Hilarious. Anyway, he had his Trump rally. Um, the debates are starting now where people start to come and show their support to who they want to vote for. Trump's there instantly roasting Biden like, oh, look at, look at the fucking empty seats. What a turnout. Like roasting him. And like Biden's there, and you can see empty chairs around. It's like wow, soul crushing for that old man there. And then the same thing was with Trump. So this was trending where apparently he was supposed to sell out a million tickets for his um a million interests, which a million people interested in his rally, which is which is weird because there's no stadium in the world that can hold a million people. 
but only 12,000 arrived. And it was a, a, a theme where TikTokers um, in Korea were take, registering their interest to make sure that all the tickets were gone so no one else could attend or something like that. But anyway, only 12,000 came. The stadium was packed at the front and the end was just empty. And, you know, Trump's photographers are obviously working to make sure that it looks full as. But the funniest shit, one of the funniest shit I've ever seen. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I post the funniest memes. Some of them are about Trump because it's just golden content. Where last, oh, a couple weeks ago, there was a video of him trying to drink the glass of water, right? And he goes like this. He supports it with two arms to drink one glass of water. And people were making fun of him because he, he had a stroke or some shit, right? In the rally video, he makes he makes it a point to tell everyone, the world, look at me. I can drink a glass of water with one arm. That's his, that's his fucking, like, yeah, I'll get the fucking crowd pumping on this one. He's there. You know, he's got that smug look on his face. He's like... With his water, he's just like, and everyone's going nuts. That's what's even dumber. Everyone's going nuts at him drinking water. That's how easy his following is to impress. He drinks a fucking glass of water, and they're just like, oh my god, you know, second term, you got my vote, Trump. Fuck the blacks. No doubt that's probably what they say. Hey, who knows? But anyway, he's there and he's like really smug about it. And then he fucking throws the glass of water and everyone just goes nuts, eh? It's like, oh my God, Trump. You call him what you want, but boring? Never. Never. Trump is the most entertaining fucking dude on the internet. You got to say, there's a, there's a comedian um that was going viral where he's just like, if, if I was... um. Trump, I'd love to hang out with Trump. And like, when I was talking, I was like, maybe I would as well. Because you can't say that he's a, he's a not a fun dude. President? Definitely not. Good human being? Nope. But I like fun. I don't care what's going on, as long as he's not physically going up bashing people. But, man, have, imagine getting drunk with him or someone strict. Like, he used the example of Obama. Sure, Obama's cool, but there's only a certain amount of things that you can do around Obama where he's going to be like, hey, I don't think this is the time to do that. You know, it's only a Tuesday night. Uh, let's, let's, let's say that for the weekend. Trump is there not knowing what day of the fucking week it is. He's just like, huh, I can do that again, but let me tweet about it first. Yeah, now do it. Yeah, Trump don't give a shit. So that's why it's like, um, I understood this comedian saying that, you know, Trump's more fun to hang out with. and Because, mate, Trump's, yeah, you guys get it. Speaking of comedians, so, okay, this is a big story, guys. So, one of the reasons why I wanted to do a show like this where you just get to speak your mind, you get to make some jokes, laugh, and, you know, practice dialect to some extent. But one of my, I guess, inspirations to doing a show like this came from the comedian Chris D'Elia. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen him trend on Twitter or Facebook or any of the social media platforms, but he's fucked. He's sort of on his way out the door. Cancelled. Now, whenever someone says this comedian or this person's cancelled, there's only two reasons why that would be. One is racism, but not as strong as sexual misconduct. And that's what he hit. He hit the ring dinger, which is shit digged up from the past to come back and ruin your life. But if it's true... For that one, um, you, you you get what's coming to you. You know what I mean? So there's been like five chicks that have come out and said, yo, this, like Chris, I don't know if you guys know. So Chris D'Elia, he's a comedian. He's heaps of stand-up shows on Netflix. He he got big because he was on Justin Bieber's comedy roast special. Uh, he's on the show You, Workaholics. He's, he's just an OG 40-something-year-old uh, uh, comedian. He's actually quite, he's quite a big deal at the moment. But... These five chicks came out and said, hey, he started tweeting at us or DMing us, messaging us when he was in town. He definitely knew we were underage. Here's the screenshots. And that shit is, that's, that, that's ruined so many people's lives. Not the screenshots, of course, the, the fact that they've got a bit of the devil in them, you know? But, yeah, how can they 
do this and expect not to get caught or not to come back to them, you know? So he was asking all these underage girls, like, yo, what are you doing? You should come around my hotel. You should come around, you know, just, just creeping on them. Um, I haven't actually seen if he's actually done anything with them. I think it's just conversation when he knew that they were sort of underage, which is enough to get you six feet in the ground from the world. You can't, you're fucked whether you... Whether you penetrate it or not, you are fucked. The moment anything you do to do with any underage, you know, they're 17, you know. Um, yeah. So it sucks because he was a really good guy. I used to listen to his podcast all the time when I took Rocky for walks at the gym. I'd laugh my ass off and I'm pretty sure he's not going to put out anything because this is the worst thing. Uh, Comedy Central, Hulu. Uh, some other big platforms have pulled his shows off the air. That's when you know shit's big. Like, people are, you know, random fucking nobodies are just tweeting shit on Twitter. Fuck you, Chris Delia, you're a piece, you know, piece of shit, whatever. But then you start to see the big networks pull his shows. Done. See ya in the toilet. Yeah. It, uh, it just sucks, man. Like, he's one of the reasons why I watched his shit, his YouTube stuff. Just type in Chris Delia on YouTube. He's just sitting in a room like me. He's just sitting there like this, talking about some shit. And I was like, damn, I'd like to do that. But what I'd not like to do is hit up some underage girls when I'm 40. So, yeah, that's that's what happened. And there's been so many other comedians. It's fucked that they always try and cancel out the comedians. Like, Kevin Hart's been targeted. Uh, Louis C.K.'s been fucking gone. Um... Chris Dele Delia now. There's been a few others. Apparently, some people have come out saying Justin Bieber assaulted some girls as well. And it's like, no, 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 no. That, does, that one does not make sense. Justin Bieber does not sexually assault any girls. Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber's. Okay? Oh, here comes. I'm cancelled now. Sweet. <laughs> no, but you guys, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it's it's a bit of a shame that that happened with Chris Delia. He hasn't replied. He has come up with one message, uh, and he's like, I'm sorry about something, uh, but he, he's not admitting to it, which is good. So he's taking a stand there, but we don't know. The screenshots are there. The worst thing about me when I'm looking back at this, I'm like, unless he actually admits to it, man, you can you can screenshot, Photoshop, edit things on the internet. Very easy to make it seem like you were sending those messages with those girls that's just looking for money or something. I don't know, but still, he's a dodgy looking motherfucker too. It's weird. Anyway, um, so that's pretty much the end of the podcast, guys. If you guys feel sorry for Chris D'Elia, uh, or you guys hate him, let me know in the comments. Um, I still find him hilarious. I mean, he's got one of the funniest shows ever, and, uh, if he does continue to post some stuff, it'll be, I just want to see what his, what his, what his response is to everything, which is going on. Um, but yeah, follow me on Instagram, guys, at Tom Singh, posting still the funniest memes ever, hoping that things pick up back to normal in six months. That's my new thing. I hope things get normal in six months. I'm done, like, for the fucking years done, really. 2020, next week's July. Oh, yo, July's my birthday, guys, by the way. So, yeah, that's pretty much just done. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. See ya!